guys here another episode of Training Confidential here with Donnie again. It's uh, Easter Sunday. Uh, how you doing tonight, Donnie? Not bad, man. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. It's a good day. Good day. Yeah. So, uh, food prep day, basically. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, I did. Some, I did some prep myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. So yeah uh, our topic today is going to be about prep because we're both on prep right now, and uh, sure. uh, we want to talk a little bit about that. I want to talk about. Uh, uh, Posing routine. How do you come up with one? Uh, you know, what kind of poses do you do? Uh, and how it changes because uh, preps change, you know, each time you do it, they change with your body changes. And as your body changes, your prep changes. So uh, you can't really pick up the same. You can't pick up the same routine you did the last show because it may or may not work. You might have to do more. You might have to do less. There might be more food. There might be less food. You know, anyway, that's that's what I would like to talk yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You just started your prep. You're on like week two, right? No, yeah. It, no, I just finished week two. As a matter of fact, it. today was the start of week three. Okay. So I took with prep. I tend to go Sunday to Saturday. Okay. So okay. I know some people they they tend to start on Mondays and they have a tendency to like take weekends off and stuff. And I yeah. like to start from Saturday to Sunday. There's no weekends or anything like that. So and I like you know. I like that because you're right. Sunday is the first day of the week anyway. Yeah, yeah, I remember just yeah years ago it that weekend was kind of until until I got like later in prep, like maybe four weeks out or so, you know. Then I would start going to seven days. But prior to that, I, I it, it'd be like five days. And, oh, you know, is that right? it, yeah, it's it a yeah, you know, it's 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 just one of those things. That's that's what I did back then. But but uh, but now I, I this is this is I, I like this a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, the, yeah. the, the structure days. works that way. But like, but like you said, you know, no, no two preps are exactly the same. Yes. Even yes. though you may use the same format, you know what I mean? Uh, like I, I stayed uh pretty lean this 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 all season, you know, with the five meals and the two free meals, you know, and stuff like that, and and it, it kept me pretty lean and stuff. So I'm I'm feeling um at week ten. But I'm feeling like I'm six weeks because I'm I'm starting to want to do things <laughs> that I know I wouldn't be doing unless I was deeper into prep and stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, I'm right now, like I said, I'm starting to freeze my shakes again now. It's my, I got one more left, and and I, you know, I just I just want to. Oh, you're getting eat. hungry already. Yeah. So 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 yeah, you know, I typically I don't I don't start that stuff until much 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 later. But yeah, we're just at week ten. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So explain how your prep is different from last prep right now. Like I said, it's 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 a uh, um right now I'm starting with I'm starting with more food and I've only had to pull once. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm 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 you know, I'm still, you know, at this point, I would say balling yet, but but uh but uh I'd probably be I think from looking at the last prep, I started pulling food a little bit uh earlier and stuff. I think because I was I was just I was like about eight pounds heavier, you know what I mean? And uh and and I probably just had a little bit more fat to to drop and stuff, but you know, now is the, the format, but everything has just moved up a little bit. Mm. You know, I, I like I said, I'm going through I, I'm at week 10, but I'm going through stuff that <laughs> I still wouldn't be going through unless I was later deeper into prep. So yeah. Sure. So so what are your carbs at right now? My carbs is still still well over a hundred. You oh, know, really? okay. um yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I started. I started about. I started about one fifty, and I've only pulled a half a cup of rice, and everything else is still in. So you've been dropping two um, two weeks into, and and I'm still having a, a steady drop, you know. And so, you oh. know, I, I just felt, you know, I, and I probably technically didn't have to do that, you know. I spent uh, typically on week uh, on on Fridays because my schedule is kind of funky. My eating was off a little bit, so I ate a little bit later. And that's you know, chances are, chances are it's 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 probably that. But I said, you know what, I'm gonna end up pulling anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one. Yeah. And that's what I did. I pulled a half cup of of of, of rice, and I'm still just coming down. It didn't pick anything up or anything like that, but I'm still pulling pretty steadily. Long as I'm long as I'm doing about three pen three tenths of a pound a day, you know, three tenths, sometimes four tenths, something like that, you know. Pfft. I'm good. I'm I'm not changing anything. You know, I'll I'll just keep going until I I think either things start picking up, and that's rare with me, you know, or you know things start slowing down and stuff where I've got to do something to pick that up. 
how's your cardio working? Like how many minutes do you got right so now? So right now, yeah, right now, man, I, I did, did my first 40 minutes. And the thing about it is just my um my intervals are not as high yeah. as uh as 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 they were last year. I mean I, last season, I mean I was just six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and I tried that a little bit the first time around, and that oof, that was not <laughs> happening. So now I'm doing right now. I, I I went with six, seven, eight, nine, and now I'm at seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I go eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten every five minutes and stuff. You know, so wow. but um, but it, and it seems to be doing the trick. You yeah. know, um, so yeah, it's you know, the, the, it's it's everything is 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 the same, the same motion, the same uh 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 the same uh, protocols. It's just that. I'm 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 a little bit ahead of where I was last year, which is a good thing. I mean, yeah, uh, it, that's, and that's, can, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, in your case, in your case, you don't need to get bigger. You you already all you need to do is come in condition, and that you know, for you, because uh, you're not a young man anymore. There's you, you don't want to add too much size on it. So you so what you're doing is perfect. And even if you are trying to gain size, if you can gain lean and and stay lean. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, through the off season, you're doing good because that's less work you got to do. I mean, simple mm-hmm. as that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. This is the, you know, I mean, this 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 show. I mean, you know, I, I was I was I was hoping that the E Cup would do one again, but because I I definitely want to do that show again. Mm-hmm. But uh, we want I wanted I needed something to go into the worlds. You know, I just didn't want to go in there cold and stuff. Because typically, my my first show. I'm close, but I'm not, I'm not there just for some, for, it's just, it's, it's, it's just, it's just my MO. Yeah. It's the subsequent shows that that's why I really, you know, I, I really, really, really tighten up and stuff. So they're like, but, a uh, but, yeah, but I'm looking, you know, but I'm, you know, I, at 60, it's going to be 63, you know, I'm prepping and I'm training. Like I got a chip on my shoulders and like, I just feel like I have something to prove every single time and stuff, you know? <laughs> So it, you know, being uh, you know, being sixty, I don't want people. Oh, that that that's that's nice, you know. Oh, don't have, I, don't I, I, need, I need, I need, I need people to say, hey, look, yeah, you know, look at <laughs> take me seriously, you know. And so there is no sixty division in this one, so I'm doing fifties. We'll see how that turns out. Yeah, I I think you're gonna do great on it. I mean, uh, uh, if I, mean, I can bring home a check, I'll be happy. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, uh, like we were talking earlier, you know, uh, you're known when you get up on stage. Everybody knows, notices you. You are. Everybody is looking at you. You know what I mean? You're not. Yeah. You're not hidden at all. <laughs> In your divisions and stuff. Well, so, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and stuff. And like I said, Arnold, Arnold, it kind of kicks everything off, but the the big the the major shows start happening right around about May. Well, June actually, May and June at Masters Nationals that that USA, all that stuff's right around in the middle of the year and stuff. So, mm-hmm. pretty much everybody is on something right now that I would say about unless unless they're competing somewhere later in the year. You know, mm-hmm. the vast majority of physique athletes they are in some type of prep right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you're right. This is a season. There is a season. <laughs> it's it's open now. It's it, it, it is open season and stuff. And like I said, you know, it, it, the thing that the people and this is mainly this is mainly the 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 the, the novices and stuff. You know, just let them just letting them know. I, I most most experienced bodybuilders. If you've got, if you've had at least four or five shows, you know, you know, it's an inherent thing that you know, no two training, no two prep sessions. No two preps are are identical, identically the same and stuff. But yeah. but uh, but it's that's that's what I want to really kind of convey that to those people who are just starting out. Maybe this is their second show. They're going on the second show, maybe the third show. You know, and they're expecting the exact same thing to happen as last time. You know, and 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 oh, last prep, and that's not that's not the case though. Yeah. So, what I've noticed with myself though, uh, is each prep I do get better. It is different. Yes. But I get better each time. But uh, the thing, but the thing, but the thing about it is, is we really don't let our foot no, off the gas no, on the no. and that's the important thing. <laughs> to me, I, to, to me, I think it's the, the key to prep is is yeah. an off season. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. You got to have a good off season. You got to follow. You got to follow protocol and stick with your guns on everything with that. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> oh, I, th- I, th- I think I think they're gonna I think they're gonna I think they're gonna see it this time, especially in the, in the classic. 
Yeah. You know, I, I really think they're going to see it and stuff. You know, your conditioning is, 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 is just about right there. Yeah. You know, and how many weeks out are we? Uh, under three now. So under three, well, at, right. You can actually technically you can step on stage now. So I could. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. You can step on stage right now. We just got more fat a little bit of water and we're good. You, you know, I still got some fat on the back though. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, and like I said, that's, that's why we, we never, we never ever sit on that look. Yeah. No, you know, no. never sit on the look. You, you no. just, just get, you can never be too lean in the sport. Even, even with class, even with men's physique, even, you know, I don't care bikini, any of that stuff, you know, even wellness. Yeah. Those, they're, they're, they're I mean, they're, they're big voluptuous women, but they are lean. Yeah. These girls aren't fatties. Yeah. No, they're not. No, they're not. They are big girls. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got more muscle than the average guy, probably. So yeah, the, the, these girl, I tell you, I, it, it uh, I, I, I am really impressed with that. Uh, that wellness, that is, that is some, that is, that's almost, a, that's almost a hybrid uh, bikini uh, uh, and figure. I like know? it. I, I think it's, uh, I, I mean, to me, I think it's the most attractive one, really. I mean, and it's, it's really distinct from bikini too. Did it? I mean, it it has is I mean they're 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 like cousins, yeah. close cousins, but uh but it you can you you can you can tell okay no no she she's wellness or no she needs to be in bikini you can tell. So is it kind of like right between figure and bikini? Is that kind of how it works? Um, yeah, fi- like uh, bikini, yeah, yeah, bikini? It, 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 figure, figure is the center of all of it. From figure, you can go women's physique or you can go wellness. Just depending on your frame, your structure, and what you're what what you're more suited for. If you're more suited for fear, then you know. But you just have some 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 good attributes for bikini. Then you go from thick bikini to figure. You know what I mean? But you know, if you know, you're one of these. You you want to you could just be just a solid bikini, but you're just a big girl. You know, then you would go to wellness. Let me ask you this. Uh, uh kind of off topic, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, about bikini and all that. So let's say you're a tall girl, you're five ten or something like that. Uh, uh, what would I, I mean? I was supposed to be depending on how big your legs were and your muscularity and stuff. But would that be if you were a tall girl? Would it be more likely you would go to bikini, or no? Height alone wouldn't do that wouldn't because go. if you got if you got a tall girl with really really broad shoulders, you know, and just has a, may just have a natural taper. You know what I mean? That's figure. Okay. There, there's no ifs ands or buts about it. Yeah. You know that that is figuring. The, 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 but the side of it is it's just going to be how big how big she can get. But even if she can't really get that big. But if her structure is a certain way, if yeah. she's just geared for a figure, then then that's 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 what she is. Yeah. You know, I can recall. You know, you know before before bikini came out, there were lots of uh of really good figure competitors. And one, like I said, one that comes to my mind is is Lydia Taylor and stuff. And Lydia, you know, she was she was she was she was she was, she was a good figure competitor. You know, you know, she, tall girl, so she didn't have like super 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 broad shoulders and stuff. But she was uh she was a uh, she was a pretty good um figure competitor. You know, she was. You know, but you know when figure came out, I mean when bikini came out. You know, and as soon as she went in that cat, it's almost like that that was it right there. It's the, like that was the missing link and stuff. And she got a pro card right afterwards. Okay. You know, okay. so yeah, you know. And wellness hasn't been out. Wellness has been out for what two years? Yeah, it has it, it hasn't been it hasn't been out that that I didn't know how to take it first. I initially I was thinking, oh, these are just bikini chicks that just didn't that just didn't lean out enough, you know. But yeah. no, these no. girls are getting these it's girls are getting lean. They're just as lean as just as lean as as they're just as lean as physique girls. I'll just put it like that. Physique. These girls get pretty lean. And they got more curves and there's more leg. More legs. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, it is. Yeah. So it is. Big girls. Uh, I, pr- I prefer that look. I mean, over the bikini look myself. Uh yeah, you, and, you're right. It's, <laughs> bikinis bikinis a bit more streamlined. Yeah. You know, it's a bit it's a bit more streamlined. It's almost like wellness is bikini on steroids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 and you said it, you said it best before. Uh, wellness is uh, bikini burlesque. Yes, it Which, is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Definitely. because I know I know just because my wife is she's doing uh she's gonna be doing the Tangy Classic, right? For show in wellness, and yes, uh, 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 she's got legs, you know, and 
uh, they're posing, watching her pose and stuff like that with uh, with Joni and how mm-hmm. you know the difference between bikini and wellness. And there is a big difference because you're showing off that leg. Whereas yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, you're kind of hiding it. You just want to yeah. show the length and the you know uh, not as much the width and stuff like that. So so there is definitely a difference. And and they had to do that to differentiate um, bikini from wellness. You know, I mean, then they were going to have it be ideal uh, and stuff. It's just like with. It's just like a classic physique in, in men's bodybuilding and stuff, you know. I mean, they, they is in classic physique, there is no front and back lat spread, you know, and they're most muscular, you know. And I and the sole purpose of that was just to distinguish it from bodybuilding and stuff because classic physiques, they did have most muscular and definitely did front lats front and back lat spreads, mm. you know. So, but I think they 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 did this almost strictly to differentiate, you know, um classic physique from um from um from men's bodybuilding. Okay. Oh, so you're, you're uh so in classic that you don't do front and back lat spread? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. That's why we didn't do it. <laughs> okay. When we posed, yeah, we, didn't we were posing. So, so it's front double by, back double by, side tricep, side chest, yes. abdominal and favorite, thigh. And abdominal thigh and favorite uh, uh favorite classic. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah, no front or back lat spread, no most muscular. Okay, so because bodybuilding, you got you 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 have the full muscular instead of the favorite, right, right, right. Uh, classics. Yeah. So you're actually right. no just, no classic, just just poses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so that'd be a good thing to do uh, in a posing routine for a classic is throwing a back lat spread or a front lat if you got if you got it right. You can. I mean, you you can. It's a matter. I mean, classic physiques did front and back lat spreads all the time. You know, I mean. Yeah. Especially, especially in the early '60s, front lat spreads with a with a vacuum. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah that was that was a, that was a common thing back in the '60s. Huh. You know, so. Eh. Well, I mean, you know. I mean, bodybuilding back then was that it was classic. It just wasn't called classic. That's all. Right. Like, yeah. That's I where mean, bodybuilding came from. I mean, right. Yeah, and, yeah. And then they just came, came up with classic because the you know people are getting too throwback. Big. Throwback. Yeah. They want to throw it back to the seventies, the early seventies, and in in some cases even the sixties. Mainly the early, the the early, the, most of the seventies. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 what I look at and stuff. You know, the it, that's physique. the gold. That's the golden era. Is the late the seventies. Yeah. You know. So yeah, yeah. Frank Zane, all the that got kind Frank of- Zane. You had Rick Wayne. You had you know Ed Corny. You had uh, you know Eiferman. You had you know. Yeah, all, all all those guys and stuff, you know. So yeah. So Cal Scalac, you know. So so my prep this time, uh uh I'll I'll talk about the differences with mine from last year. Uh yeah. Because you know, my last show was Emerald Cup last year. So I've had a whole year off. Uh uh I am on a thousand more calories than I was last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe last year I was on forty three or forty four hundred something. Uh I'm trying to remember if you pulled food. Are you, I'm sure you did, but I I'm, pulled some torsi. I pulled some torsi in, but but it wasn't much. It wasn't uh, much. Yeah. So I pretty much was still on quite a bit yeah. of carbs. Uh. So this time around, you know, I'm I'm a little less than three weeks out. You pulled a cup of rice from me. I still have another cup of rice. I got a cup of oatmeal and eight ounces of potatoes, uh, and then my carb powder for workout days. Uh, so I still have quite a bit of carbs in there. So, so that's kind of changed, but going back to the, uh, 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 <laughs> to the intervals on the, on the, on the step mill, <laughs> now yeah. that one, uh, uh, I've had, I mean, I had one day this week, I couldn't get past eight. <laughs> I mean, I just couldn't, I couldn't get past eight. Yeah. Uh, so the lower, the lower, uh, body fat I get in, in, yeah. in that- that's what's you going know, on. You don't, you don't, you don't have the resources. You don't, you have, don't, the you don't have the resources. You, you don't, you know, and, and, and this is, this is the stuff that you should be looking for. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, right in the middle there where you, you're burning most of your fat. Yeah. You're crushing it, man, but stuff, but as you start to get really lean out you don't have very many resources and resources left, i.e. fat reserves and, 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 and just food in general and stuff. Yeah. You're not going to be able to hit those numbers the way you did and you may have to reduce those numbers and I have to do it too, you know, at some point in time, you know, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be starting out at a level much lower than seven, you know? And so, the whole thing is, it, even at that point, you're still doing, you're still doing what you need to do. It's like, right, right, uh, right, you right. Know, you have, 
you have the strong days in the gym, you might be able to push heavier weight for a couple more reps. You know, that's great and fine. You're building, you're still, you know, you're still in the pluses. Mm -hmm. You have those days you just don't have much going on. You might push that heavy weight for half the reps. But when you're at those points, I, I, I think that those are the best points. When you're weak like that and you're trying to give it all, you're giving a little bit more than you would even when you have that strength. And I think that you, you could you, you get yeah, more I, out I, of it. Yeah, I think you, you kind of see it in the in in the finished product too, you know. Yeah. That 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 very dense, very hard, you know, physique. You know what I mean? Um, you know, um, that's that's I think that's you know, that's one of the things that you you it that kind of carries over into that look you know, you, is when you're, you're doing that. Mm-hmm. You, you've said to me before, uh, uh, you know, your, your body don't, your body don't care about your competition. I don't give a shit about your competition. It doesn't. When you're at that low body fat, your body wants to do everything it, it can not to burn that fat because it's in survival mode at that point. You yeah, know, you yeah. have to, yeah. <laughs> you have to but, do a lot to actually tackle that fat at that point. But what I'm, what I'm finding though is, is the lower, this can't apply to everybody because some people really have their own size and stuff. And, and, but, but, but the lower you keep that, that body fat percentage on the off season, the deeper you can go into prep. I would say there was probably a point in time to where I really started feeling really uncomfortable at about maybe 6.3% or something like that. Maybe the low sixes, you know, and now it's like last year, I really didn't, I really didn't start feeling uncomfortable until I was like in the low fives. You know what I mean? Before you really start, okay, I'm starting to feel. Whereas some people, you know, that really get kind of fat on the all season, by the time they get to about nine, eight percent, eight percent, they're already feeling it. You really? know what I mean? They're feeling that depletion the whole nine yards, you know? And but then, you know, in the all season, if you blow back up again, you, you know, your set point, your set point is, is, is up here you know, like at 14, 15%, you know, when it, it should be probably maybe about 11 to nine, somewhere around in there, you know what I mean? You know, and then when you start, first of all, you don't have that much to take off, you know, that's that's because the lean out phase is the hardest part of this thing. That's where you're doing most of your work. Yeah. So you cut that down and stuff, but your body's already used to being, you know, pretty low. So it's not going to, you're, you're, it's not going to take you too much out of your comfort zone to get down to the low fives or even maybe the high fours or something like that, huh. you know? So, yeah. Yeah. That's so a, the longer you stay down, you get, you kind of get accustomed to it. And I, I see this in a lot of the YouTube videos and stuff. These guys, man, on the off season, dude, I mean, some of these guys, they, they're still like in high, they, yeah, it's high single digits, maybe 9.5 or something like that. But, you know, to, to maintain that single digit all year round and stuff, especially when their bodies probably aren't used to that. You know that's that that says so. and it carries over the next season. Yeah, you can see it, and and that's where I'm at because I don't I don't think I get over I probably don't get over eight percent on the off season. I think I think I think with you, your your maturity is just really coming around and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing what you're going to look like on stage. And that's and that goes right back to the the three components of bodybuilding: time, consistency, intensity. Yeah. That's consistency, what that is. intensity, and time. That's yeah. that's 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 all it is. And and that, so, that I mean, with me, uh, you know, training with you for how long we've been doing it? What a couple of years we we've, we've been training mm-hmm. together and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's where it came from. That's that's a result of that where I'm at right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, because uh, it was a different style of training than I was used to before. Uh, uh, I didn't have to concentrate as much because you were there to to guide me, you know, learned a lot of stuff. But I think I think mainly is just the style of training, uh, which I, I kind of train fast, you know, uh, be, before you anyway. And I, I rest pause sometimes, but mainly how I trained would, was I would do uh, I would kind of power body build. So I would do like a heavy compound lift with really heavy weight. I would do like five by five. And then I do my bodybuilding movements, which worked. I gained and all that stuff. But the minute I switched over to the to the uh, high intensity uh, training, everything changed. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and, and, and and like I said, you know, it it, it and it doesn't. You know, like I said, there's a way to train. There isn't necessarily the way to train. And remember, the one of the things we talked about with Tom Platts is, you know, for a while he kind of emulated Arnold trying to train with Arnold. He was out there training with him, literally training with him. 
and he wasn't getting the results that 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 Arnold was getting, you know. And then he, that's when you realize, hey, look, my physique is different. So you know, the way we train will probably will probably works for a lot of people, but then yeah. again, it's not going to work for some. Yeah, you know, you, and that's one of the things about it is is I think for most body, but most bodybuilders, I'll just I'm talking about everybody. You know, if they've got like 10, 12, 13 years in of training. Their training is like a culmination of stuff that they picked up along the way, you know, that, you know, and research and they'll try it and they throw some stuff out that's not working and stuff. And that's that's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. And that's everybody's training. Yeah. You know, your training is probably going to be different, maybe six, seven, eight years down the road and stuff. You're still using some of the stuff with the principle now, but then you're using some other stuff. You Honestly, know? And that's just, I don't think I'll I don't think I'll change my training. I, I might do yeah, different that's exercises. Fine. I might do more yeah. exercises, but. As far as the rest, pause, training, high intensity, I'll probably always stick with that because, for one thing, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I I can't be one of those guys sitting on a bench with weight behind me waiting a minute to do my set. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah I, I'm me, looking at my yeah, phone. Yeah, I'm just yeah. – I'm not one of those guys. I, I want to get it done. I'm antsy. Yeah, wanna, that's me. That, and, and that's me. And like I say, in, in sound like a lot of this is more about practicality. Yeah, it is. You know? Yeah, we, we don't have that time, dude. I mean, we no, don't have we that don't. time. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> so since we're still on that in that contest, let's talk. Let's talk about some posing a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you people in prep and and it's there's probably still early, so people aren't really thinking about maybe posing yet. You know, and 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 I, I, I'm, we're talking about beginners here. And one of the things you want to is when do you start thinking about posing? Let's say your first time training. And you don't have the look yet. You're not, you're, let's say you're right around maybe about 13%, somewhere around in there and stuff, you know? So when, when you, when do you start posing, you know? Yeah. So, you know, so I, let's say, let's say you pick a show and you're 15 weeks out from a show. Let's start there. So mm -hmm. now you're starting your prep and you're, and you, ju and you just started, you've never done this before. Maybe you get a coach, maybe you don't, but yeah. So, so at that point, 15 weeks out, when would you start worried about posing? I would, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to, I probably want until about 10 weeks out. Okay. I'm going to want them looking. I need to, I need to have a pretty good assessment because some people are like light and light. They're like night and day from, you know, like off season to, to, to deep into prep to, to stage. Let's just say from off season, look to that stage look, That's you know, true. so the closer you get them to that stage look, then the better you can assess what poses are going to work for them. Yes. You know what I mean? I, and a lot of people with a lot of novices and stuff have to understand, you know, you, you don't do certain poses because Dorian does them or yeah. Flex does them or Lee Haney does them. You know what I mean? You know, posing poses are like clothes. You know what I mean? You know, you got you got to You got to wear something that fits you right. That that complements you. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And, and and so that's 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 one of the deals and stuff. You know, like I said, you got you got three things to address. And first of all, your mandatories. Because everybody's good with inventories. You got to get that down in it first and foremost, you know, and then then you're on your compulsory. You have two aspects of it. And it's the poses themselves, the transition and the sync, the sync into music. Yeah. You know, those are the three things that you, you know, you, you deal with. But I would probably I would probably for the next five weeks, just go through the mandatories, you know, with with with, with these guys and gals. You know, making sure that, you know, they get their mandatories down pretty good. And then right around about that five week mark, they've already been at this for five weeks. They're pretty comfortable, you know, doing those mandatories. And then we'll start, you know, thinking about a routine. And at this point, we start introducing other poses, you know, three quarter back and all this other stuff. And we'll just have them check the pose out. We do the pose if it looks good. Okay, yeah, you know we may we may add that one. If not, then we go to something else. You know, because typical posing routine, especially for amateurs, you're running right one. What about your, your pose? Your routine's got a, what about eleven poses in it? Mine has eleven, yeah, because we added we added yeah, eleven poses. So so yeah, so you're talking about you're talking about about 10, 11 poses. You know that are going to be it. So you got you'll probably have a few of your mandatories. Where's your money shots? Yeah. And that's one another thing in, in posing is find out where your money shots are, you know, yeah. you know, and the more money shots you have, the better, yeah. you know, especially in the amateur Remember, ranks and stuff, you know, these judges you, are, are, these judges are looking at you guys. They want to see muscularity. 
They, you know, appear to be muscular and, 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 and they want to see uh conditioning anesthetics, those three things. So, uh, and, and, but, but, but what I mean by, what I mean by money shot, let's take for, let's like one of your money shots is your abdominal thigh mm -hmm. because personally speaking, I think you're probably going to have some of the best abs on stage. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about your money shot, you know, okay. and, and your quads are still pretty full and stuff. If we get dried and we think you really separate on us and stuff, you know, that abdominal thigh shot of yours is going to be money and stuff. OK, your okay. side tricep is a really good shot, too, because of your abs again, you know. Yeah. And so these are money shots. And, and 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 with these money shots, you want to make sure you hit these, because if it's ever tight and you're ever going to pull away, you know, and and one of these uh uh and one of these uh, uh posing rounds for their, their for their judging, you know, then you, you got to make sure you hit those money shots. Yeah. And you need to know which ones are your money shots. Yeah. Okay. And the other important thing too is uh it, with the posing is you got to be able to hold those poses for for you know at least a minute or so because I remember last show I was up I was up there four times and I was just in one event. But, you know, all, all the guys up there were all pretty, pretty similar and stuff. So they call us up there four times and, you know, and <laughs> you yeah, what they do, what they're, poses. <laughs> yeah, what they're, do, what they're doing at that point is waiting for, they're waiting for somebody to buckle. Yeah. OK, if it's if it's it's that tight and they start running you, you know, then the person that's going to get really tight, they're not going to be able to hold poses tight and you're going to be able to see that. Yeah. OK. And, 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 and so that's, that's, that's what that's all about. If you, if they're starting to run it, if they're starting to run, okay, that's what they're thinking. Or they can do this, especially the two athletes and what they'll do, let's say, let's say one, one is really good at the front double arm bicep. And one is very good at the back double arm bicep. And what they'll do is they'll say, okay, let's see a front double arm bicep. And then it'll turn around and have you do a back double arm bicep. Have you do a front double arm bicep? Have you do a back double arm bicep? What they're doing is they're looking for the disparity between the two poses mm. whose whose strength has a bigger disparity to the other person's weakness you see mm. weakness you see what i'm saying yeah so so that that that's another thing that they uh judge will tend to do and stuff so when whenever i see that they're boiling down two poses one person's really good at one pose and the other person's really good at the other pose they're pretty much even probably on everything else and that's what they're doing and that's yeah that's that's what they're okay that makes sense that makes sense. So you're right. Uh, you, you know, I mean, you know, you 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 hold your hold your poses, you know. But but at the national level, they have so many competitors. You know, you you got to get in those poses quick, and you, you hold them. But you got to get in them. You you got to really get in them because if you're taking your time to try to wind up like they do, like in the pro ranks, yes. because you don't really have that many athletes, so they can kind of wind it up a little bit. You can't do that at the national level. No. In in some cases, you can't do that at 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 the level like the E Cup. You know what I mean? E Cup has about a thousand athletes in it. You yeah, know, there's too many too they're, many athletes. They don't have the yeah, time. Yeah, so so they're they're moving you. So you you need to be able to get in your pose. Don't give me a wind up. Get in that pose. Yeah, you know, yeah. at about a three count, you should be in that pose. Your wind up safe for your posing routine when it's your stage. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure yeah. Enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a couple minutes left. Uh, uh, let's talk okay. real quick about uh, posing routine and music. How how do you go about yeah. picking your song? So th with the music, the, I mean, the music is is kind of you know, with me, it's like right now I'm listening to a series of songs when I do cardio. Okay. And probably one of these one of these songs is probably gonna be my 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 routine. You know. Okay. And the thing about it is, is even before I start doing a lot of posing, uh, a lot of posing and stuff, I've already ran this routine through my head about a few hundred times just through my cardio session. And basically when I do cardio and I've got my headsets on, I'm more than likely I'm probably looping the music that I'm going to be playing the routine. Then I'm get, I'm I'm just playing that routine in my head. I'm just putting that routine in my head and stuff. I'm so. laughing because that's exactly how I do it too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, and there's, there's so many ways to do it. You know, and 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 um and you know we 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 select the poses that we're going to be doing. Mm. We know these poses. We know these poses. They they're they're going to work for us. We know which ones are your money shots, the whole nine yards. And then we just basically just sync it to music. You know, you, you pick that we pick that music and 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 we sync it up. You know, 
you know, certain notes are going to be for certain poses and stuff, you know, you get and 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 we just loop that puppy over and over and over again. Yeah. Because you know, it's the last time last time we we had our uh, our, our what well, we got about three quarters of the way through, you know, at the end of the session of the actual team. Mm -hmm. You know? I think we went through it about 20 times, 20, 25 yeah. times. Oh, this weekend? Really start getting yeah. 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 Yeah, the yeah. last time. Yeah, we did about yeah. 25 times on it. We did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we did. It's be pretty good, too. I like yeah, the song I, also. I, yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, it was it was one of those two songs. But uh, uh, you also said this, and I want to I get this out there, too, because uh, this is exactly how how I do it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if, if it's when you're in prep, at least for me, I, I, kind of an emotional state, I guess. Mm -hmm. I have this this goal in mind that I'm going to do no matter what. There's nothing in my way. I'm going to get there. And that's just how my mind works. So mm -hmm. so what I'll do on that cardio, and it starts with cardio, just like you said, I'll have, I'll find songs and I'll have a series of songs and I have a playlist. And that's that'll be my, yeah, what, yeah. my Emerald Cup playlist is what I'll call it, whatever the show is. Okay. Uh, and then I'll have several songs in there that may or may not be my uh, my posing routine music. And I'll go over that lots of times. But my point is the the songs that I pick are uh, kind of what I'm going through at the time, you know, right? Uh, yeah. Emotionally, yes. Mentally, mentally, and all that. Yes. Uh, and that's what I pick. So it's a reflection of 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 me and and how I'm feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I, I I wholeheartedly agree. Yes. Yeah. You you just spoke to the you just spoke with the both of us on that one. Yeah. But you're right. It's 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 an expression of 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 you know you know. You may want to convey your journey, you know, through the entire prep process and stuff. And it all culminates in this song and stuff, you know, and you just want to you just want to share that with the audience. Which you know? is awesome. I mean, I think that's that's yeah. The, one of the coolest things about it is is that right there, because it's, you it's know, the, and and yeah, I mean, it's yours. It's yours. You made it. <laughs> that, yeah, that that's what that's what, you know, it, that's that's when you can see the athlete really connect with the routine. You know, it's just the intangible side of it. You know, you can tell that. Hey, look, there's there's something about this 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 song and this routine and just the athlete themselves and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, like I know, uh, uh, see, we got about two minutes left, but uh, sure. I like I said, I, I you you listen to both those songs. So the first song, the first song that you listened to, I actually really wanted to use more than the second song, but they were both. I, I, I like them equally, but my point is uh, the second song I picked was because of the beat. You know, uh, you also got to think about what does the audience want to listen to? True. You know, and, and, uh, and... you know, you got to have something. And I like you, you, you pick epic music, which is perfect. I mean, for, especially. I, for I, and, 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 and what I really like is I, I like, I like pop music that's been converted into epic. That's, that's what I like. And the song that you have, actually it was an epic that was converted into pop is yeah. what it was. Yeah. So yeah, but they still did a really good job on it. It still has an epic factor to it. Yeah. You know. So yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah. pretty good. I I really like that song though. Good, good. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'm I'm excited about it. So under three weeks. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I'm starting starting to get pretty excited. So uh, still a lot of work to do. It's not over until yep. it's over. So yeah. Uh. But I will. Pull thumb. You never. You can never get too lean. Like, like I said before, you know, when I'm in it, I'm in it. So I have a goal and there's nothing that's going to get in front of that. <laughs> Even when I have no energy and I don't have anything left to give, it'll all go to cardio and training. And then I'll just have nothing the rest of the day. It's just the way it is. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here soon. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to wrap it. We got to wrap it up, Donnie, uh, uh, for, for this week. So we're going to check in next week again. And uh, uh, you guys have a good week. Happy Easter and happy Easter to you, Donnie. All right, man. Same to you. And we'll see you soon. All right. All right, bro. Peace out. All right. Peace.